here we are with another nail video. This is how this was my last set. This glitter is actually called Mermaid Vibes. I created this glitter. But since it's close to Valentine, we're gonna do a Valentine theme. Now the colors that I'm going to use for this Manny are Stocking Stuffer Retro Christmas number two by Rebel Nail. It comes in a package like this. Then I'm going to use this color Halt. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but there is a number and this is more like a nude. I don't even remember to be honest that I have this color. And then I'm going to use another one of my glitter called Pink Passion. This is how it looks. Then for liquids, of course, I'm going to use with my double dip liquids base activator and top coat. And of course, to prep my nails, like normal nail prep number one and number two now let me show you the combination that we're going to use this is my glitter pink passion this is hot and this is retro christmas number two this is our combo for today exactly how i'm gonna mix this i have no idea but let's get to work i am going to remove all this um, deep powder from my nails and then i'll be back so we can start working on our next color combo okay so this is how my nail looks like i already took almost to call the color off i did i did one dip of clear powder and kind of shape the nail to make the process a little easier as you guys know i still need help when it comes to shaping especially this hand but it's something that we'll learn as we go now i'm thinking about doing a color blocking on this nail so for that i'm going to use this blue painter's tape and i'm just gonna cut it at my desired length and wide normally people use the clear masking tape but i prefer this one because it's easy to peel so this is how the nail looks once you apply the tape you can apply the tape however you want it i just make sure i kind of like press on the edges of the nail so the liquid doesn't go down there make sure everything stays and now i'm going to start with my first color which is this like light nude once you got your tape how you want it you're just gonna apply your liquids how normally you'll do i try to go a little bit over the tape um with this i don't like to put my my finger in the dip instead i using the pour method and once i'm done with with either two or three layers of dip then i activate my nail a little messy but you do have to trust the process then I'm using my rebel nail retro Christmas number two and this is like a light pink and I'm using this in my um, little finger index finger and my thumb since this is a very very light pink I went in with three dips instead of two now i like when the color is a little bit too dark i only do two dips but i went ahead and did, did three to make sure you can the pink was visible and then on top of that i did encapsulate the color using clear dip from Revenel. <music> to apologize because some of the angles are just really bad you can hardly see my fingers but it was the way that I set up my phone I really thought that you could see like everything and then I came to the realization that a lot of the angles were off as I was editing the video so I want to apologize for that and next time I just have to make sure I get better angles than what I did in this video
for my middle finger and my ring finger I'm using this glitter that I created it's called pink passion and this glitter has different tones of pink first I try dipping the finger into the glitter and sometimes that does not work especially when it comes to chunky glitter so when I saw that the chunky glitter was not sticking to my nail the way I wanted to I decided to go ahead and just pour some of the glitter on a um, cupcake filter um, you can do that and I'm just tapping to make sure all that chunky glitter uh, comes up to the surface and it's easy to apply I like to do that I did mention in my previous video is that if I see that the glitter is not sticking the way I want it to be stick I go ahead and apply deep base and just take a dotting tool or a toothpick and just apply the, the chunky glitter directly on the nail that way I have more control of how the glitter looks and how I want the glitter to look this is just a little bit time consuming if you don't have a lot of patience if you're in a rush but I love, 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 love how the result turns out. Once I'm satisfied with how the glitter looks on my nail, then I go ahead and encapsulate that using the clear tip. And yes, I'm using my one and only Vivian from Rebel Nail. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that tape as you can see it's something super super simple if any pieces of tape get stuck on the deep you can always use a nail cutter and just try to peel it off and then I go ahead and just file to make sure the edges look even and straight the way I want it to look I go ahead and apply the deep base and apply the glitter on the rest of my nail make trying to make sure I don't touch my skin while applying um, the deep base and if I do I try to clean it with a dotting tool or with a toothpick <music> Once again here, since the glitter wasn't sticking the way I wanted the glitter to stick, I went ahead and applied the deep base and then took my dotting tool and I laid the glitter on the nail the way I wanted the glitter to look. Like I said, it's something super simple and you have more control of how you want the glitter to look. the nails are looking so far now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate that nail as well using clear dip not only encapsulated is good to protect the glitter and the color but also any little cracks that the glitter didn't fill you're gonna fill it using the clear powder that's where your nail is gonna feel super smooth because all the little gaps are going to be completely covered once you use the clear after activating this 
this is how my nails are looking so far and I'm loving it. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my nail drill and I'm going to use these Sandy Rain Bands that I got all for Amazon. I actually really really like these bands because even though they are sanding bands, they are very very gentle on your cuticle area and they just leave your nails feeling so smooth. If you are interested in buying them, I will leave everything that I use in this video in the description down below. like my nails are nice and smooth then I go ahead and take a brush and remove all that excess powder that I have all over and then I proceed to shape the nail like I have said in my previous videos I still need a little bit of help when it comes to shaping I'm still struggling a little bit less than what I used to do when I first started doing my nails but we're getting there little by little are shaped the way I want it or the way I feel like they look similar then I go ahead and dust off all the excess and apply the activator one more time activate my nails then I go ahead and apply these nail tape strips um, this is in the color silver I got this off of Amazon and one thing that you need to know about this uh, tape when you use it you need to make sure that your nails have no residue of powders as well as where you lay your strip because they will not I repeat they will not stick to your nails if they sit on any kind of powder so it don't matter how much you want it they will come off then they will start lifting How the nails are looking now I do not want to encapsulate this using another layer of clear powder because I already have five layers of powder within my nails so what I'm doing here is applying deep base on all of my nails and then I'm going to use activator this not only is going to encapsulate my nails and this nail strip but also is going to leave my nails looking so shiny and smooth
So these are my nails are looking. I applied some jewels in it and now I'm going to apply my top coat. And that's going to be almost our final step. Um, after I activate it and apply my jewels, I kind of let my nails sit there for a little bit of time just because I want to make sure my brush does not harden from using the activator. Now it is time for the final step and it's applying our cuticle oils. This one I got from Amazon and one thing to remind you and remind ourselves is that even the day after you did your nails, two days after, apply, continue to apply cuticle oil on your nails. This will make sure your cuticle is stayed hydrated. It is also going to stimulate your nail growth. We're supposed to use cuticle oil every single day to keep our cuticles moisturized. So this is the final result. These are my Valentine's nails. So don't forget, if you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And with this being said, it will be on to the next one. Oh, 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 oh,